Legends, stories scattered through time. Mankind has grown quite fond of recounting the exploits of heroes and villains, forgetting so easily that we are remnants, byproducts of a forgotten past. Man, born from dust, was strong, wise, and resourceful. But he was born into an unforgiving world. Your world remains, and in time, your kind will grow to walk its face once again. However, without our presence, they will be but a fraction of what they once were. An inevitable darkness, creatures of destruction, the creatures of Grimm, set their sights on man and all of his creations. One night, a younger brother went and made something. Something that shared his innate desire to destroy anything and everything. The creatures of Grimm. You guessed it. These forces clashed, and it seemed the darkness was intent on returning man's brief existence to the void. Am I? We are between realms. However, even the smallest spark of hope is enough to ignite change. Which is why we would like to- I'll do it. If you believe this will help humanity, then I will become your fall maiden. So, will you- I'll do it. Very well. Our creation rests within your hands. And in time, man's passion, resourcefulness, and ingenuity led them to the tools that would help even the odds. This power was appropriately named Dust. And without the blessing of the gods, no one could perform magic like mankind was once capable of. Nature's wrath in hand, man lit their way through the darkness. And in the shadow's absence came strength, civilization, and most importantly, life. But even the most brilliant lights eventually flicker and die. And when they are gone, darkness will return. So you may prepare your guardians, build your monuments to a so-called free world, but take heed, there will be no victory in strength. How do I destroy Salem? You can't. But perhaps victory is in the simpler things that you've long forgotten, things that require a smaller more honest soul. Creation, destruction, choice, and knowledge were the ideals upon which humanity was made. Now, I leave them behind with the hope that you may learn to remake yourselves. If your kind has learned to live in harmony with one another and set aside their differences, then we shall once again live among you, and humanity will be made whole again. But if you demand our blessings while still fighting amongst yourselves, then man will be found irredeemable, and your world will be wiped from existence. It's true that all of this began with war, but it is peace that has served to shepherd humanity on its ascension to greatness. May we never stray from that path. Yes, the world of Remnant is indeed a dangerous place. But the Four Kingdoms stand as beacons of hope. As safe havens from the darkness that surrounds them. They are the key to mankind's survival. As long as they stand united. Your book. Does it have a name? Well, it's about a man with two souls. Each fighting for control over his body. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what is your favorite fairy tale? I'm sorry? Fairy tales. Stories from your childhood. Surely you must remember some of them. Well, there's the tale of the two brothers. They were brothers. The older sibling, the god of light, found joy in creating forces of life. Meanwhile, the younger brother, the god of darkness, 
spent his time creating forces of destruction. The shallow sea, the girl in the tower. There stood a lonely tower that sheltered a lonely girl. Named Salem.